right, guys, we got a very special Not A Podcast. This song right here was recommended by the man you guys see right here, Frugal Aesthetic, a.k.a. Christian, a.k.a. Respect Women. Welcome to Not A Podcast. I feel like I'm a dime with a 5'8". I feel more than fine when you're Yeah, the only niggas running in the car race. All right, welcome, man. Hey, man. How's it's it? Nice how's to it? Be here. I bet you guys were not expecting this collaboration right now. Can you tell the audience, for those that do not know a little bit about yourself, what you do? I gotta catch up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Frugal aesthetic. Yeah, I run this YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, goblins? I just make fun of. I just make memes of fashion, and it just came about. And I'm happy that you can do that in 2019. Thanks, you guys got to check out his channel right now, man. He is killing it. I but how, how is everything with the YouTube? Is it like what you would uh, expected and everything? I mean, definitely. I, I definitely grew up on it mm -hmm. because it's like it happened at a phase in my life where I had to transition from being a high schooler to an adult. Got it. So it's definitely helped me grow up as a person. Got it. I, I like how it's how it's turned out. I'm sure the money's flowing in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I got to give a huge shout out to Gold Thread for sponsoring the video right now. Um, they are a brand new publication. They cover everything in China when it comes to culture, food, history, art. They got a crazy YouTube channel right now. And they also have goldthread2.com if you want some articles um, instead of videos. Yep. There and there's go. this article right now that I uh, came across that I want to uh, discuss with you, which is pretty interesting. Um, in uh, Fashion Week in New York recently, right? They actually had a uh, couple brands, basically, I would say take ownership of all the negative things that people don't like about China, the yeah. whole like made in China stereotype. Yeah, um, the whole like, you know, the the promotion of the nationalistic mindset that everybody right, has to right. have. They they put made in China on the shirts. They put the Chinese flag on the shirt. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah. basically taking ownership. What do you think about this? I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, but they did it in a sense that it's like, wow, this is legit. This yeah. is actually art. When you worded it to me earlier, I was like, oh, this is a cool gimmick that someone's doing on Teespring or something. Yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. But there was a whole like actual like art vision behind it. And I think that's great. That's like ballsy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you need. Yeah. You need to be like out there and that's a great approach at it. I Almost mean, like why hide from it? You know, just yeah, take ownership you might as of well it. Own up to yeah. it. Yeah. Especially it's cool in a fashionable way too. Exactly. So yeah, make sure you guys check them out. And one other interesting thing that I read about them is they are actually made up of a group of reporters and filmmakers from all over the world. So you're going to get like so many different perspectives on their channel right. and through their articles. So make sure you guys check them out. Like I said, the link will be down below. Let's move on to the hot takes, what they came here for. Let's do it. Five fashion trends that should stop in 2019, Christian. Oh no. All right, so the traditional format, you know, um, hot takes one minute each. All right, guys, so the first one up right now. Okay. 2019, this needs to stop. You guys know how I feel about these. The Yeezy V2s. Honestly, I feel at this point, it's like the Honda Civic of shoes. Oh, how you hold up, man? How you going this the Honda Civics? See, hey, there's a place in the world for Honda Civic. No, come on. I didn't say it in a negative way. I okay. said it's the Honda Civic of okay, shoes. Okay, explain you yourself. Explain you take yourself. take it the way you want it to be. So this is going to go against everything I just said. <laughs> So the way I see it is like it's it's they're cheap now. They're relatively cheap compared uh -huh. to like what they used to be. And I guess people buy them expecting them to have the same sort of status as they used to have. Mm -hmm. So people are showing them off like they're they're like this top like oh look Kanye sent me yeah, these yeah. shoes. But really it's like you know those have been like in 2019 if you guys are buying V2s and still expecting to get a status uh basically, you know, some status points it's a no-go, man. Those are, I mean, with the sesames, volts, uh -huh. clays. I don't know how many damn colorways they have dropped of those. I don't even, because like when I see something new, quote new on Instagram, like someone gets a sample, I'm like, mm -hmm. I swear to God, those have been. Exactly. Yeezy V2's canceled 2019. Oh, Do you agree? No. Yeah, definitely. Just a, just a big bet. All right. Um, next up, man. I want to get your opinion on this. Okay. You know, you're, you're a fashion guy. Full track suits, you know, the whole Palm Angel mm, stamp, right. um, even the Nike full track suits. I'm talking from head to toe. What do you think about this? 2019. 2019, I definitely think that there's a certain person that pulls it off. 
Like there are people that like Adrian know. Broner. Yeah. <laughs> He be rocking him like. Oh my god, he's like in pajamas all the time. <laughs> but who though? Who who who? Like like there are just people on Instagram like a lot of European people. Okay, like, do okay. It well, like okay, so you're saying there's it, just there is Slavic someone. School. Yeah. I mean, a type of group that can rock them. There are people. Yeah. Okay. I, I've seen people like a lot of people in the. I think it's pretty popular in like the UK. Uh huh. They do it really well. Like they just style it, and I guess they style around it. Like Got they it. have accessories and and bags and like everything that goes well with it. But I feel like people. A lot of people here kind of just throw it on, hoping it, that it sticks. It goes, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's what I was, I had that in mind when I brought this up. Like, I'm sick of seeing the full track suits with like the Balenciagas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that look has to, gotta go, oh in my, my opinion. God, yeah. But yeah, yeah, more of like in a European way with the um, fanny packs and everything. Yeah, I can yeah. see that working. That's, I, I love that. Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay. All right. So next up. Replica Vintage. Mm. If you guys have not checked out his channel, Replica, I mean, just vintage in general is huge, right? You're always talking yeah, about it. I love it. For me, mm -hmm. I don't I don't like it. I don't okay. like it. I like vintage where it's going to be real vintage. Right. The wash tees and everything. I'm not a huge fan of like Replica Vintage as far as the logos go. Like your old Tommy sure. Hilfiger's, your old guesses. Like, you know, kind of like, like anything like they sell at Urban Outfitters. Oh, okay. The whole vintage thing is is great. I love it. I love this whole like bringing back old clothes and styling them modern, like modern styling. But I feel like the whole bootleg part of it, I'm impartial. I mean, I don't really uh, personally, I mean, it's if it looks good, it looks good. Mm -hmm. But you can't be like if it's like fake designer, it's like a whole different world. But I feel like replica vintage. It's like you want the look. Mm -hmm. You don't want the status. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess I can see where it goes to people like where they're just like replicating Tommy Hilfiger thinking like, oh, yeah. look at all this vintage Tommy. And it's like yeah. something from Urban Outfitters. It's like, I, I don't really mess with that. <laughs> so you guys got to let us know. Uh, do you guys think that should still be something in 2019? Next up, man, I'm kind of partial to this one. Mm -hmm. So I'll kind of explain it. Okay. 2019 off Supreme. <laughs> oh! Off Supreme. You guys have heard me say this on the channel. I will not rock a hype Supreme piece ever again. I hate when the whole like, basically the look or the wardrobe or basically the status is reliant on Supreme. I like right. Supreme, obviously, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I like it as a complimentary piece. <laughs> Richie just went, I hate Supreme. I like Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I explained, I said I'm torn. I'm torn between oh, this one, no. man. Cause uh -huh. you guys know with the full flip flop thing, I said I wouldn't wear them. But then, you know, I, I bought the uh, post office hat, the, the Supreme post office. Ah. There you, go, man. You, you know these. Are you a DJ or something? Because you uh, know these sound effects. Like, oh, dude. I, you remember all of them. This is my favorite part of the <laughs> video. All right. So what do you think about this, man? What do you think about this? So, Supreme, like, you know, when someone is reliant on that box logo, I know you got uh -huh. an opinion about this. I definitely, I hopped on Supreme in like 2012. I really liked it because of the whole, like, my, I don't know when my friend resold Shit. it. That's a long time ago. My friend was reselling it. I was on it because I was like yo this is like my first gateway into like okay. clothes but seeing now mm -hmm. as to what it's become how it's really just become like a big measuring competition i see what you're saying i don't like the fact that how much money you spend on clothes defines how cool you are how how can people gravitate away from this you know what i mean i feel like supreme's a great gateway into uh -huh. where it's so easy to get into it's pretty simple it's just like you buy supreme oh wow you're, you're, in, you're wearing yeah. supreme but i feel like you should explore what you really like and mm -hmm. that's like i feel like people get stuck on supreme because it's like oh you're cool you're wearing supreme and people just stay there it's and such an easy way out yeah and then people are just expecting to actually get, easy yeah. way in <laughs> yeah it's easy way in and then mm -hmm. it's easy way to just get comfortable there. yeah so, i see what you're saying yeah all right guys so supreme 2019 i am saying I'm off of it with an exception of a couple pieces, but not wearing it to get a certain status. I would there say. There you go. That's great. All right. Uh, next one. Last but not least, this trend needs to die in 2019. <laughs> it's straight. Just not even, yo, what do you think about this? It's like, yo, this needs to go. Traditional Chelsea boots. Just Chelsea boots. What are you, uh, did you, you ever rock them? I used to. I used to love that. Me too, bro. Dude, I was so on that. Kinda hurts. Like this Saint Laurent era, I was oh. like, I was on that. I was like, yo, Eddie Slimon, all that. So how of. you feel about this? 2019, are you off? See, people now are wearing it with like zipper pants. And I mean, I feel you used to do that too, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, it's like people are still doing that. And it's like, I think it's kind of like corny now. Mm -hmm. But that's just my opinion. 
But if we're doing hot takes, this needs to go. All right, this needs, needs to, to leave. I like when get you it do out the, of here. Uh, yeah, man, the whole Chelsea boot thing. If you're gonna rock in, do not do it with the zipper pants in 2019 for sure. Oh yeah. Maybe with some like toned down denim or something, but not go. the zip the zipper pants. Don't not that was like 20. Oh dude. 16, 17. Yeah. With what's your opinion on the zipper denim now? Oh, zipper. Oh, no go. No, go, oh. no go. <laughs> zipper denim. Those days Zip, are over. Those days are over, man. I cannot do the zipper denim. Yeah. But man, I just zippers in general, you know. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I used to make like top, top five t-shirts to rock with zipper pants. Top mm. five, five shoes to rock with zipper. I love zippers back yeah. in the day. All right, guys. But uh, traditional Chelsea's, you say no? Right now I say no, but there are people like with that, still with that St. Laurent look, I think it looks great. Like Got it. Jeff Goldblum, the guy from Jurassic Park is on that now. Mm. And it's great. I like it. He, he pulls it off. Like Harry Styles, mm -hmm. that look is great. But if you're wearing it with zipper denim and like a flannel and a long tee, oh my goodness. It's like, dude. Bro, what you just described right there was like the number one look on Instagram. It's for my roommate now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for Not A Podcast. Let us know down in the comments below if you agree or disagree with the uh, trends that we went over for 2019. Shout out to uh, Frugal, a.k.a. Christian, a.k.a. Respect. How did the whole respect women thing happen? Can you break that down real quick? Oh, yeah. I don't even know anything about that. So I had a, I had a joke on my channel about cuffing jeans. Like okay. how you, if you cuff jeans, you cuff girls, right? Cuff <laughs> jeans, cuff girls. Oh, All right. God. Dark time for me just not in the <laughs> just not a good time but someone commented cuff cuff your pants cuff the jeans but still respect women and i don't know for some reason i thought that was like funny uh -huh. and i like i just liked it and then it became like the top comment i didn't even bring it up in in the next video it's just the top comment for like the next three videos just hey guys respect women i'm like okay cool and then and then one of my friends texted me like yo i see the respect women stuff on your channel is that like is that, what is that about? And I didn't know how to answer it, so I kind of looked into it, and I was just like, you know what? This might be funny. I made one joke. Got it. Became so you, the biggest thing on my channel. Okay, so it started with your channel. Oh, yeah, it started It wasn't there. like something you attached onto. No, someone commented it, and then oh. they wouldn't stop <clears throat> commenting it. That's crazy. Which, it turned from a joke. Now it's actually, I love the message. Yeah. Like, with my clothing brand, I try to, or I, I tended, like, um, to, I'll send out, like, a survey of what's the best the charity to donate to like for, okay and then like 30 percent of the profits go to like a woman's charity that's dope it feels good that's what's up having an excuse to give back that's what's up man uh make sure you got, yeah you got you have a clothing brand as well yeah uh, make sure you guys check it out what's the name uh it's respect women right oh. now yeah it's literally so just, the name is it's actually. literally respect women so for me it's like just a creative outlet got to it. get to get out of vision that i think would look cool on clothing and I guess the respect women thing, it's just, it's just like, that's the name and that's the branding. But in terms of like design influence, it's all like my favorite word for it's like archival. Like I'll just like think of a of concept mm -hmm. and I'll put it on a shirt and then it'll tie with the branding of the respect women thing, which is like, just like being, putting out a statement, like Got it. being bold. It's hard to explain in I words, gotta check it out. but yeah, it's definitely more of a passion project than anything. It's really fun to do. Uh, working with like designers and like teams and putting it on shirts and stuff. Available it's, it's now or you get you just do drops? I do it by capsule. Like okay. I'll just have a design with, X, I'll only make a couple because it's like, I don't want it to be like mass produced. Got it. So then I'll just like do that. And then if you buy it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't like the vision. That's cool. All right. But so yeah, respect it's, it's women, fun. the clothing brand. Make sure you guys check it out. Shout out to Christian. Um, let us know if you guys want any more videos like these. Um, make sure you guys check out Christian's channel. Thank and you to Richie for uh, bringing me in. For sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much, man. Winners of the uh, Air Force One giveaway will be announced soon, so make sure you guys are commenting on that video. There's been a lot of uh, submissions for that, and that's pretty much it. And until next time, let's play that. Uh, what was the song that you recommended? Red Light. Red Light. I love that song. It's my gym song. All right, all right. You working out with Johnny a lot? No, nah, me, me and Johnny have different. Johnny's just too much, man. He goes, I was gonna say, no, no, hard, he just goes too early. Oh, he, he goes at like five. You don't five. even go too hard, he just goes too early. No, he goes at like five, and I'm like, damn. Yeah, that's when I go to sleep. Oh, really? Like, oh, my God. Yeah. All right, guys, we out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video. It's the last not a podcast that we did. Make sure you guys check out um, Christian's channel. Check out Sky's channel right here. We out. Peace. Thank you.